During our Round Africa expedition with Ocean Quest, the Ocean Explorer passed over an extreme region, the Northern Benguela Oxygen Minimum Zone, or OMZ. Its unique environment is a persistent mid-water column layer that has less than two milligrams of oxygen per liter, whereas typical ocean oxygen levels are around four times higher. To uncover what lives in the suspended column, researchers deployed a net tow to 200 meters, which was the upper boundary of the layer. These zones can provide a snapshot into what ancient oceans used to be because it took millions of years for phytoplankton to create and accumulate oxygen in both the oceans and atmosphere. And as important as they are for understanding the past, they are also indicators of our ocean's futures. Because while OMZs naturally exist, these areas are increasing with rising temperatures. While marine life needs oxygen to survive, some have adapted to this extreme region, including pteropods, aka shelled sea butterflies, which we found in our netto samples. Referred to by some as a canary in the ocean coal mines, pteropods can be early indicators of ocean acidification due to their shells. Made of aragonite, which is 1.5 times weaker than other forms of calcium carbonate, analyzing the condition of their shell can help determine how ocean acidification in a region is impacting organisms. Continuing to study these areas is important for understanding and potentially predicting how marine ecosystems and ocean biodiversity are changing from increasing temperatures.